believe it or not, I can actually try and run things informally. <laughs> uh, thank you. Um, Rick. Rick Volchuk, can you hear a microphone, please? Oh, right. Oh, there we go. I'm still. Yeah, but I forget too. Rick Kowalczyk, he, him. Um, one of the recommendations out of this, I think, should be to change the bylaws to change the three quarters to two thirds or simple majority. I think that's one of the things that's likely that caused a lot of problems 10 years ago. I think two thirds is more than an adequate number. So I'd like to suggest that one of the recommendations out of the committee whole is to move to change the bylaws to two thirds. I have no idea, having not hit the lottery by last night, as to venues for a future WesterCon. Sorry. I'll second his motion that that be a recommendation. Do we have any objections to that being a recommendation? Two-thirds. Hearing no objections, uh, will the secretary of the Committee of the Whole, which is I am going to appoint Linda. <laughs> <laughs> As Magic the Secretary fingers. of the Committee of the Whole, with the Secretary of the Committee of the Whole, which is not the Secretary, although it happens to be the same person, uh, please note that recommendation and when we and include that as part of the report of this committee. To change the three quarter three quarter requirement. To change the three quarter requirement to a two thirds to a two-thirds requirement. Okay. Let me sort of summarize where we are. We don't have a site. Nobody has said, hi, I'm willing to volunteer. How we proceed will depend on whether somebody wants to stick up a hand and say, Hi, I think I'm willing to volunteer. I don't necessarily have to have a site, but I have to be willing to say, I am going to find the site, please trust me. Is there anybody willing to stick their hand up and say, please trust me, I will find the site? Lisa? I believe she's yielding to me. Is that correct? Mr. Chairman. Kevin Stanley, he, him. As I think you're all aware, I am the chair of next year's WesterCon in Tonopah. I will preface my remarks by saying we are not especially thrilled with the concept of holding two Tonopah Westercons in a row, uh, as we think Tonopah will be great, but we are not really sure that two would be uh, greater. However, having said that, I consider, Tona I consider Westercon an important event. It's been a big part of my life. It's been a part of many of your lives. I would be very sad to see it sort of fizzle out. And I certainly don't want to be the chair of the last Westercon. There have been some discussions that suggest that should we completely default on our responsibility as a business meeting and give it back to Lossfuss and they, they could conceivably, as the owners of the service mark, decide in effect to kill it, which I think would be bad even though it's a smaller event than it once was. <laughs> to that end, I and Lisa Hayes and certain other people I've spoken to informally over the last 24 hours who I don't necessarily want to individually name them because they aren't necessarily ready to commit to it. But I and Lisa Hayes are prepared to accept the, the nominal responsibility of finding a location and a committee for WesterCon 74. Tonopah is by no means our first choice. It is very much our last choice of, if everybody else walked away from us. There are a number of places that have been mooted. Without committing to any of them, possibilities might be to 
uh, approached the folks who originally were bidding for this year and backed off from it because of uncertainty about COVID and so on, they might be, be willing to, to take it on at this point. It would be a little challenging, of course. There are other sites. It's even possible that um, our friends up in Washington might be prepared to take it two years from now, knowing more what they do than I do now. I, I, don't, I, I never like turning down money, but I know that we are uh, supposed to be getting something, a grant of some sort from Seattle's Westercon Committee. I would be happy for the health of Westercon as an entity to pass that on to a starting committee who was willing to take that on. It's not a huge amount of money, but it's equivalent to a small site selection upfront money. There were only, how many ballots cast? 19? 15. 15? How many? 15. 15. That's uh, 15 times 20 is not a large of digital nest egg because it, it's understandable, of course. To that end, I then move that I and Lisa Hayes be recommended to organize a committee to determine a site for WesterCon 74. Consequences of this is if we are unable to work out something. Did you mean 74? Did I say 74? I, I apologize. I mean, it's on the camera, too. I did. WesterCon 75, yes. The one, that, the one that we are charged as a committee to figure out. WesterCon 75. Try and find a site. If we cannot determine anything, if we can't find anybody willing to take it on, and as I say, I don't think we're really interested in doing it ourselves again, um, we would basically have to declare another committee failure at that point handed back to LOSFIS. Now I know that I personally would love to see a Los Angeles-based committee, not necessarily one of the usual suspects, but a, an LA Basin area convention committee to organize Westercon 75, the 75th Westercon, back in its original home area where it started. But there doesn't seem to be anybody from that, from the usual suspects stepping forward. I'd defer to them if they came. And uh, at this point, I yield the floor perhaps to Ms. Hayes. I am asking you, as this committee, to trust Kevin and me to take the responsibility to move Westercon forward. As he says, we don't have a specific plan in action. We have multiple plans. We have discussed between ourselves and others, and we have some hope for some of them. We have backup plans, but I hope you can trust us to maybe carry Westercon forward. Thank you. Um. Okay. Yes, uh, we don't. We don't need a second at this stage. We basically have a volunteer. Do people have questions that they would like to ask of the volunteer before we try and decide on voting about that volunteer? Are there questions? Ben, would you like me to hold the floor and yield for questions? Um, and, I could, and then I could answer and I could repeat the question. Sure. So that might be mechanically easier. Yeah. Oops. That way we can. Yes, Mr. Chair, I yield to it for a question. Uh, yeah, as the chairman of Westercon 40, um, I just want to make sure that when we do this, we keep it alive because it is more Oh, I, I, I think that's debate, actually. Ben, uh, Ken, that, I couldn't hear the question. The, it was a question. It was asking, well, microphone. I understand what you're saying. I was, I was going to repeat questions, but that wasn't a question. So you will yeah, do go ahead and pick up the microphone. Yeah, um, as, as the chairman of Westercon 40. Hold it closer to your mouth. Okay, as the chairman of Westercon 40, all I can say is I am... I just want to be sure that we continue this convention. It's where I met my husband. It is important in my life. And I just want to make sure that you guys are ready to, to get this done. Thank you. Yeah, Mr. Chair, uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I'm, I'm here to take questions, but if people want to debate the underlying motion, I'll yield the floor. Uh, right. the, the distinction there. Right. Yes, please. 
Mr. Stanley is controlling the floor okay. for the purpose of questions. All right. Mr. Kowalczyk, I yield. Um, would you consider posting yourself someplace like Reno if all else fails rather than uh, uh, dissolving, the, uh, dissolving the committee. We would, uh, the question was, would our group consider hosting it in some more conventional, no pun intended, traditional site, such as perhaps Reno? The answer is we could consider that. Um, being con runners, there are, uh, we, we have this tendency every, every time we've gone out to dinner at any of the major casino hotels in, in the city to look around the site and say, well, we could do this or we could do that. And I said, <laughs> yes is the answer to the question. It is one of the possibilities we would have on our plate. Are there any other questions for which for me to yield to? Question. Two parallel what do you estimate the attendance to be at What you're asking, what do we expect the attendance at Tonopah to be? Right. Yes. And part two is, how does that compare to the attendance at the previous in-person Okay, and how much did that, and how much, the second question is, how does that compare to the pre, previous in-person WesterCon? The first answer, our projected attendance is between 200 and 400 attending. It cannot exceed 450 attending due to the capacity of the convention center, but I would be extraordinarily surprised if we got that high. The answer to the second question of, how does that compare to the previous WesterCon is a very difficult and fraught answer because the previous WesterCon was also that year's NASFIC and two other conventions under one roof and drew somewhere above a thousand. I don't know how high, Michael. Yeah. Uh, roughly a thousand people, and uh, and I don't even remember what the attendance was before that. WesterCons for the last few years with outliers and it have been running in the neighborhood of 500 to 1,000 perhaps. I mean, Sacramento had 800 or so, and I don't have the numbers for the others. That's the range of dates. We are going to be small. We do have an internal goal to be the largest Nevada WesterCon ever held. That would need about 360. Any other questions? Well, if that's the case, I'm going to yield the floor, and you can work from there. I have a question. Question. Are there any experienced people in the Reno area who could pitch in and help run a Westacon, since Reno was specifically mentioned? Uh, are, there, are there experienced con runners in the Reno area? Uh, there may be for other genre events. There's an anime con that was held there. There's a very large uh, furry fandom con. I am not personally familiar with con runners in that area. It is. There are people who have been in the LA, uh, I'm sorry, LA, so well, I've got LA on the brain from being here, I'm afraid, sorry, in the Reno area who volunteered to work on the Reno Worldcon. Uh, I didn't know them that well. Um, I spoke with some of them. I apologize if we're slighting anybody on this guy. So yes, but no, in a sense, but we, we would call in our favors again, the way I did for Tonopon. Thank you again. Uh, but it, is a, it, is, it does have facilities for it. I happen to think that Re uh, if the, of the two major cities in Nevada, I would consider Reno a better site than Las Vegas. Okay. Are there any further questions? For, uh, I'll ye I yield. Yeah, so my, my question next is, what is the geographical range that you would consider for a Western I, you know, I, it has been Okay, what geographical range would I consider for a, would we consider for a WesterCon? North America, west of 104 degrees west longitude or, or Hawaii. I'm not joking. If it's a viable site with people who we believe would be good for run, would be able to hold the event, any of those sites would be okay with me. I was on the committee for Calgary. I was one of its organizers. Um, uh, I, you can go as far as I think Regina, Saskatchewan, I believe, as far as the furthest east you can go in Canada. The furthest east you can go in the U.S. is El Paso. I've been there. Um, El Paso was small. Or, was small. Uh, for various reasons. I'm not sliding any of the groups that were small. WesterCon's been in Boise, but a long time ago, before my time, I'd be interested in knowing where, if there were people who wanted to run it. 
I'm only interested in it continuing with something approaching viability. And viability doesn't have to be huge, it just has to be viable and willing to run. I mean, 200 is viable, it's a small event. It's, are there any other questions of, the, of, the, of our group? I'm not seeing anything, so I yield the floor. At this point, we've received a presentation from Kevin for his group volunteering to run a potential WesterCon someplace. Are there any other people interested in volunteering to be the sucker who stands up and says, I'm willing to run a bid someplace? Seeing none, I believe the best thing to do is see if we are likely to have a majority supporting Kevin's bid because if so, I would propose that if Kevin's bid can receive a, let's simply say, a substantial majority of this committee of the whole, and I'm not going to define it what I mean, but it's going to be pretty obvious. If there is a substantial majority willing to support Kevin's bid, then I would propose that we rise and recommend to the business meeting that they accept Kevin's bid. So, can we get a show of hands? Who, who is in favor of Kevin's bid? It's pretty clear that there is a substantial majority. Therefore, this committee will recommend to the main business meeting that Kevin's bid be accepted. And I therefore declare that this committee of the whole is over and the committee rises with a recommendation. Captain Yellow. 